Yo, fam, what is good with y'all, man? It's been a hell of a three days for me. I had to go out of town for a day. I had to come back and then go to a wedding, like, right after that. And then, like, I think today, not not today, I got the information today, but, like, tomorrow or something like that is supposed to be, like, I got to go to, like, a funeral. However, I'm not going to that shit. Fuck that. That sounded very insensitive, but I'm not going to that shit. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. But, however, though, I just want to give y'all a little piece of my life. But, however, though, NBA 2K18, well, 2K has been dropping a lot of news about NBA 2K18. They've even flew out a bunch of YouTubers uh, to come test out the game, and then they've been giving some information. Now, I wanted to take my time with this because, you know, when news first come out, everybody be making up some bullshit. You gotta, you gotta swim through to see what's real and what's fake. People be putting out fake bullshit, fake myths, like this, like this shit with the park. Let me tell you that Park is in the game, okay? Stop believing the bullshit. Like, come, you think they're not going to put Park in the game? Why do you... I'm going to ask you a question. Why do you buy 2K? I already know the answer. Park. You buy 2K because of Park. Everyone buys 2K because of Park. You think people going to buy that shit if Park is not in the game? That's a wrap for 2K. Of course they have Park in the game. So if you thought that Park was not in the game, my guy, stop being so gullible. Stop believing everything. You got to learn to swim through the bullshit. All right, but uh, we're gonna talk about a few things now. I'll probably split it up into two different, um, two different videos. I'll probably do one as far as offense, and then one as far as defense. But uh, I guess I'll do the offense first because everybody already heard about that, so that'll be quick and easy to get on out the way. And then we we'll go over to the defensive side because I'm pretty sure not everybody tuned into that because nobody gives a fuck about defense anymore. But let's get straight into the offense now. One thing that has been changed. And before I even say this, let me make sure that I say that this was all quick match things. Like, these, these uh, changes were all inside of the quick match. I don't know if it's going to be in the my park. I don't know if it's going to be in the pro-am. Most likely things in my park will be different because it, it, it's always different from when you play quick game in my park. Those things are always different. Pro-am probably will be different because that park and pro-am are two totally different things. It's like, so I don't know. If the same things that are happening in these quick matches will be inside of the Pro-Am or inside the my part. But, something that has been toned down is for all my big men who get rebounds and throw in the fast break. First off, I like to say I love you guys. If you get rebounds and you're immediately throwing into the fast break, shout outs to you, man. You the real MVP. But, that has been toned down. You will not be able to, well, I, you probably still will be able to do it, but you won't be able to do it as consistently and you won't be able to throw that shit as far. So, like, for all the people who, like, cherry pick and stay back court, you probably will not be able to get that ball because you're going to throw it most likely out of bounds. However, though, I don't like that. I, I like, like, if your man is leaking out to go back, then you, the person who has defense need to go and leak their ass back with them. Like, don't, don't penalize the person who doing what they supposed to do. You supposed to leak out on the fast break. That's what you do. When you see that, if you know your big man finna get that rebound, you supposed to be outie. That's what you are supposed to do. So the personal defense needs to get their ass back well with them. So I, I, I really don't like that change. Next up, we got shooting. And this one I don't like. I don't like this at all. They've made it a lot harder for you to shoot. I hope they. I hope that this does not cross over into the park or the pro-am. Because pro-am, Lord knows, is already hard enough to shoot in there. But I don't like the fact that they made... Because I'm a person who shoots good shots like i only shoot when i'm open i don't force jump shots i shoot when i'm open so if i'm open i got a good shot i got a high shot quality or rating i expect to make that or oh, green light is something i expect that to be a green light if i am wide open i have a high shot quality i am i expect to make that shit and they're making it so it's like you can't get a green light like to the point where they almost you might as well take that shit out the game like it Yo, it making it so hard for you to get a green light, and I don't like that because it penalizes good shot takers and, and good shooters. It's like, it's like you putting a cap on that shit. Then they not even putting the cap at a high rate, like a 50. I would even be acceptable with a shooting 50% because that's realistic shooting 50%. But goddamn, people shooting 40 and 30, anything under 50% and shooting consistently that, that's terrible. Because then you fuck the game up. You force people to have to do a layup or a uh, dunk or like you force people to play an inside game if you take away their shooting like if i'm a sharp shooter and i'm shooting 
below 50% from, but f below 40, below, it, just below 50. If I'm shooting below 50 from the three pointer and I got a sharpshooter with a rating of like a 90 something three pointer, that is a problem. That's a problem. What's the point of having sharpshooter if I can't shoot? Like, that's a problem. And it's, it's all because people keep complaining like, oh, they make everything. Motherfucker, play defense. Play defense. Stop giving them wide open shots. Simple as that. Like, don't penalize the good shooters. Like, I, that part I don't like. They, they, I hope that that does not cross over into the park or the program. I hope that stays inside of the quick game or if that's a setting thing, maybe they're playing on like Hall of Fame or something. Please make that a setting thing because if that goes into the park, I'm going to hate that shit. But that helps me segue into the next thing. I had, Now, this one, I'm not too sure about this one. So this one, I'm not going to put a full stamp on this. I've heard that the, um, the shot meter color can be changed, but who, who gives a fuck about that shit? Like... I'm gonna keep my shit the way it comes. I don't give a fuck if I shoot. What the fuck? Now people will be yelling purple light, like red light. Like, who gives a fuck about what what color the fucking meter is? Who gives a shit? Just keep that shit green or or whatever. But I don't know if that's real or not. So I'm just gonna keep that in the I I don't know kind of thing. Now moving on along. Well, next we got um another thing that has been changed is the effectiveness of brick wall. Now you will not be able to just like have somebody run into that shit and you just stand right there and be stuck like you just can't move at all now i'm i'm in the middle between both of these things because i like it and i don't like it now if they tone it down to like four out of ten times if you run into a screen you might get stopped or if they set if they set the screen perfectly and it's right on time everything lines up and then you get stopped i'm cool with that but like if you getting stopped like ten out of times and you got 10 out of 10 times and you got a playmaker that's just running back and forth between the screen 677,000 times that has to be stopped you can't be getting stopped on the screen every single time but if you get stopped on the screen like maybe four out of ten times i'm cool with that if they're setting a good solid screen i'm cool with that now on to the most important thing that is getting everybody triggered dribbling we'll talk about this first speed boosting is still in the game and to be honest with you i'm not i've never been a big fan of speed boosting i've actually just started speed boosting this year this this year's uh 2k17 is the first time that i've ever speed boosted in my 2k career and i've been playing that shit since like 2k9 i've never done speed boost i never was a fan of that shit that shit is fake as hell you can't do that shit in real life but i got tired of people doing that shit to me and i was like man i'll be unguardable if i do it so i've done it so but however though I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but speed boosting is still in the game, which will bring me to my next point in this one I am, oh, thank you 2K, fucking thank you, thank you so much, this one I am so happy that they fixed, dribbling the ball, and this mainly happens in pro-am, it happens in park sometimes, but this is mainly a pro-am thing, when you're dribbling the ball, and you just walk into somebody and you drop the ball, who in the NBA is doing that shit, where did they get that animation from, what NBA player that's a guard or a ball handler is doing that shit, did you go to an elementary school game and watch some kids do that shit? Like, where, where in the NBA are they dribbling into somebody and just dropping the ball? Like, and then the person that, like, when that you're dribbling to and you drop the ball, they don't even be pressing square. Like, they're not even swiping at this shit. You just tap them and drop it. Like, oh, shit, well, my arm touched you. Gotta drop the ball. Like, what what the fuck is that? I'm so happy that they fixed, you, fixed that. Thank you, 2K, for getting that bullshit the fuck out of the game. Because that shit was stupid as fuck. Now, going into the next thing, as far as dribbling goes, you will not be able to do 566 dribble moves, and which I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence about that, like I'm in the middle, because I feel like the way they were saying it is like, you'll probably only be able to do like four or five dribble moves, and then like your whole meter will just be dead, like, that's not realistic, like, at least let us get a good solid 10 dribble moves, because when NBA players come up the court, they hit you with a quick 15 dribble moves in your face, especially if it's Kyrie. He hit you with a hell of dribble moves and didn't go to the goddamn paint. So at least let us get a, a good solid 10 separate dribble moves before our energy is depleted. I don't like it if the energy is like four four dribble moves and then we're just dead. Like ah, I can't go on. Like you know they they gotta they gotta put a little bit more energy on that. But again. This is all quick game stuff. I do not know if this will be over on the park or over in the pro-am. They're kind of keeping that thing, you know, all in the circle. They're not really releasing too much information about park and pro-am yet. So this is all quick game stuff. So dribblers, now, all for, all for you dribblers, let me put you at ease because there will always be an exploit. Somebody will find an exploit to make you the biggest dribble guard in the world. So don't be, 
don't be alarmed it's just gonna be harder for the people who aren't a dribble guard to dribble it just affects the people who aren't dribble guards because most likely i'm not even gonna say most likely guarantee somebody will find a dribble exploit and you guys will be able to dribble your fucking life away like that <laughs> it'll always be an exploit so for all my dribble people don't even worry about it i'm sure you will come up with something new and last but certainly not least hop steps have been changed now hop steps will immediately pull you into a jump shot which i am a fan of well i'm not gonna say i'm yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of it because I've never been really one to do the hop step thing. I that never, I've done it. I'm not going to say I haven't done it, but I never really, that's not a part of my uh, everyday dribbles. That's not going to make or break me if I do the hop step thing. That's just something that I did every once in a while just to fuck around or something. But like, that has been changed. Now you will be have to pull yourself into an automatic jump shot. And I'm kind of happy at the same time that they changed that shit because when you got big men, they fucking do a hop step. They hop step from the free throw line all the way to the corner three. That shit is like, come on, must, come on, son. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. That's just too much. Like, we all, it was fun why it, it, why it lasted, but we all know that that was some bullshit. Like, you got to be hop stepping from side to side and going 50 feet away from your defender. We, we all knew it was bullshit. It's time that it's been stopped. We had our fun, guys. It's over, all right? That I'm cool with. So, um... That will conclude all of the new 2K news, or at least all of the things that I felt that needed to be talked about. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some more stuff, but that, that type of shit I really don't give a hell about. But uh, all the main things that I felt need to be talked about has been talked about. So, what's left is for you guys to drop comments and say what you guys think about it, what you like, what you don't like. You know, you've already got my opinions on some of the things. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Come on in and share with the family, man. Share what you think with the family. All my guys that are new, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll be dropping the defensive one probably after this one. I'll probably try to drop it in the same day if I can. Or maybe I'll space it out one for today and then one for tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to do it for sure, but it will be coming out. So stay on tune for that. And again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'll kill you. I'm out. I'm going to get on up out of here. Yes, I am. All right, guys. I'm out.